Denzel Douglas. Hi, from New York going to Harris's. Labor people, Sampas, Diabe, Pasigon, Salas, don't give for the people. Six told me, son, you know which team are the team. D.L.D. Denzel Well in Douglas. D.L.D. Denzel Well in Douglas. Hey, donkey, tell us, tell us. Bang this, beat them. Leave a share in this. Bang them, beat them. Donkey, share in this. Let's go. Bang them, beat them. Leave a share in this. Yes, we share in this. this campaign trail all of you who have been following during and following on the social media those who are abroad and those who are here we thank you from the bottom of our hearts you have been our energy our oxygen you have been our driving force that is why this campaign of labor has been better than all the rest here in 2022 and so tonight i want to thank you for this journey that you have taken with us for some of you, it has been a journey only since 2020. But for many of us, including myself, it has been a journey since 2015. It has been a long time in reaching back to this point. We are the Senkis Nevis Labour Party and the people of our country on a whole can say, at last, at last, Labour is coming back to leadership here in Senkis and Nevis. 
I believe that the period of service in 2015, the period of empowerment of our people, starting all the way back in 1995, the period of expanded opportunities, starting in 1995, when labor took office away from Pam. The period when every single citizen felt empowered when we transitioned this economy, a monocrop economy, driven by sugar agriculture, and transitioned it to one of hospitality and tourism services, supported by manufacturing, supported by diversified agriculture, supported by information communication technology services. And when we became number one in the Caribbean region, in terms of attracting foreign direct investment. When we were able to attract some of the best hotels in the world. The Park Hyatt there at Christoph Harbour in the Southeast Peninsula. The Marriott Hotel here, the largest Marriott in the entire Caribbean region right here in Figit Bay. 900 workers on the closure of the sugar industry. The Kittishan Hill Resorts, three hotels. Not only seen hotel development in the Southeast Peninsula, but also hotel development in the northwestern tip of our island in the Capistia region. And we also brought in the Coy Hilton Hotel. There, in Half Moon Bay. In other words, we successfully transitioned the economy, dependent upon 400 years of agriculture, sugar agriculture, to hospitality services and a mixed services economy. That period of growth and development, it came to an end in 2015. When in front of your own eyes, you saw a man who was part of the Labour Party and part of the movement, undermined his own party became a traitor to the cause. A man today who after he was found out by those who joined him to break labor are now joining with others to drag him out of office fin finally tomorrow. And so my dear people, that is why I say for me, the period of waiting has eventually come to an end because only a few more hours and the government will be no longer a divided unity government, but a strong, powerful, red labor government on behalf of all of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, irrespective of your socio-economic status that you have. All people will be served by this new labor administration. Freedom is coming tomorrow. And so, my dear people, we are back on track 
our education programs will be restarted. Your children, as you've heard Dr. Drew a moment ago, will get their laptop computers once again because I say to you tonight, no child, no student of St. Kitts and Nevis will not be able, will be held back. We will be able to compete with any child around the entire world. And the new technology will be embraced by all. There will be no limits to you and where your children can go. The scholarships will be resumed. Housing will continue again to be built for the empowerment of our people. And not just empowerment of those women who are head of households, but the young men as well, whose time has already now come under a new labor administration. <laughs> we shall make sure that scholarships are no longer available just for those who are academically, academically gifted, but those young men and women who are skilled in what they do and will be sent off to Canada and Trinidad to develop those skills to come back and serve and continue to diversify our economy. Innovation. Innovation will become the order of the day. Musicians and entertainers they will not be treated like last class citizens as they are being treated today by Akila Byron Nisbet. <laughs> Education, housing, all these will be recaptured together with improved health care. That is what a new Labour government will bring to you after, for the last seven years, it has been dashed aside, dashed aside by corruption, by greed, by nepotism, by selfishness, by one family dominating all other families here in St. Kitts and Nevis. At last, that has come to an end in a few hours' time. And that is why I say to you, my dear people, we will ensure that victimization must not rear its ugly head anymore here in our country. Today, I was at the park at the Marriott Hotel having breakfast. A young lady who was employed before I left office has told me that for almost five of the seven years, she has been sent home doing nothing and receiving a salary. Victimization because she was working in one of the departments of the office of the leader of the opposition. Five years victimized, sent home, receiving pay. This is the craziness that is happening in this present administration. I say, finally, that at last, a new day is dawning. I can't wait for it. A new day dawns from tomorrow, the fifth day of August, Freedom Day, Freedom Day, Freedom Day here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Freedom is coming tomorrow. And so I said to you, we have arrived at last to the point where we can cry freedom. But it is not going to be obtained just by crying freedom. 
every single one of you here tonight. You have a role to play. You must make sure that tonight, especially the officials for the Labour Party and those who are supposed to be neutral as officials of the electoral system must make sure you are well rested. Pray to our God. Ensure that you are vigilant at all times. Just tonight, they did not want one of our candidates to be free to contest the elections tomorrow. Down there in front of the electoral office on Central Street just a few hours ago, we almost did not have Conris Maynard as the candidate free to roam tomorrow on election day. They sent out the stooges to harass and chuck off Conris Maynard. But I say to you, just as the crowds around were vigilant tonight in defense of Conrad Maynard. So too, every single man and woman must be vigilant tomorrow in the line as you wave to pass your ex. And as I've said to you before, hold your space. Hold your space in the line. Look at the man who is behind you. Look at the woman who is in front of you. And if you don't recognize her, then of course she should not be there and pull her out of the line. You know, I make no joke now. This is a serious business. At seven years, we are waiting for this. Now it is here. We ain't gonna take no nonsense at all. Tomorrow, election day. Look at me fierce. We're ready. Me now back back. We ain't backing back. We ain't backing back at all. We moving forward. Forward we moving. And so they say me time up. What it happened then? What happened to them there? I say to you finally, this is your moment. This is what you have been waiting for. Make sure you cast your ex for labor, for the hand. The caressing hand of labor. The warm hand of labor. The hard working hand of labor. Labor's hand. Mark your ex and bring victory and freedom at last. God bless you! God bless you! This might be my final speech on the platform. God bless all of you, my dear people. Good night.